Dhammapada verse 92. Bala si satera vatu. Yesam sanichayo nati. Ye parinata bojana. Sunyato animito cha. Vimoko yesam gocharo. Kasewa sakuru tana. Gati te sandaranaya. Verse 92. Parahats do not hoard anything. When taking food, they reflect well over it. I, in accordance with the three parinas. They have as their object liberation from existence, that is, nibbana, which is void and signless. Their destination, like the course of birds in the air, cannot be traced. One, Sanichayo means hoarding, according to the commentary it means accumulating either karma and its effects, or any of the four requisites. Two, Parinata Bhojana, to take food according to the three Parinas. According to the commentary there are three Parinas that the bhikkhu should, be, should have concerning food, namely A. Nata Purina, knowing the exact nature of the food being taken. B. Tirina Parina, being convinced of the vileness of material food. And C. Pahana Parina, rejection of all pleasure in eating. 3. Sunata, the void, according to the commentary. It means void of craving. It is an epithet of Nirvana. For animitam, the signless, according to the commentary, it means no sign of craving, ill will, and ignorance. It is also an epithet of Nirvana. 5. Vimoko, liberation from existence, Nirvana. 6. Gatite Sanduranaya, their destination cannot be traced because arahats have eradicated craving and are no more subject to rebirths. The story of Terra Bella Tassisa. While residing at the Jaitavana monastery, the Buddha uttered verse 92 of this book with reference to Terra Bella Tassisa. Terra Bella Tassisa, after going on arms round in the village, stopped on the way and took his food there. After the meal, he continued his round of arms for more food. When he'd collected enough food, he returned to the monastery, dried up the rice and hoarded it. Thus, there was no need for him to go on an arms round every day. He then remained in jhana concentration for two or three days. Arising from jhana concentration, he ate and the dried rice he had stored up after soaking it in water. Other bhikkhunis thought ill of the terror on this account and reported to the Buddha about his hoarding of rice. Since then the hoarding of food by the bhikkhus has been prohibited. As for Tero Balatasisa, since he stored up rice before the ruling of hoarding was made, and because he did it not out of greed for food, but only to save time for meditation practice. The Buddha declared that the terror was quite innocent and that he was not to be blamed. The Buddha then spoke in verse as follows. Verse 92. Parahats do not hoard anything. When taking food, they reflect well over it, in accordance with the three parallels. They have as their object liberation from existence that is nirvana, which is void, and signless. The destination, like the course of birds in the air, cannot be traced. Parinata Bhajana, to take food according to the three parinas. According to the commentary, that there are three parinas that because should have concerning food. Nata Parana, knowing the exact nature of the food being taken. The Tirana Parana, being convinced of the vileness of material food and see 
Pahana Parana, rejection of all pleasure in eating.